Hello Virgo, this is your mid-November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Virgos, but this is for November, mid-November 2018 Virgo. Mid-November 2018 Virgo. Hope you're having a good November so far. See which energy we can get. What's coming in? The sun card, not feeling real happy starting in. Maybe your spirits are a little dampered or people around you are feeling a little blah. It's not the worst card in reverse. It just means that you're not 100%, like, so happy. You know, you're not Mr. or Miss Chipper, you know? Seven of Swords in reverse. I had that, I think, for Leo. Or was it Cancer? Breaking free from something, getting away from something, finding out something that was a little underhanded or flying under the radar about something. But it's come out in the past. We'll use another deck. Same basic deck, you know, but I need a smaller one to you know the difference. But the Seven of Swords in reverse, why are you there for Virgo? What is going on in the past? Maybe that's why you're not a little bit happy. Found out someone was holding back on you, maybe, and it came out. Can I get another card for the Seven of Swords and the Four of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, you know, something definitely came out and brought you out in hermit mode, from hermit mode, possibly. I think something came out, like I said, a sneaky behavior, which made you have to react or come out and say something about it. Or it could be that someone you know came out of the woodwork and you weren't expecting it. They just came around and... I don't think you're 100% happy to see them because of that sun card in reverse. Obstacle is finances and stability. Receiving or getting what you think you deserve in life when it comes to earnings. Ten of Pentacles, why are you there for Virgo as the obstacle? Again, the Seven of Swords. I think someone took advantage of you. Or for a few of you, a small, small amount of you, you took advantage of somebody else. Can I get another card for the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords? A lot of swords energy. A lot of things being done that shouldn't have been. If you know, someone didn't make you an offer, or you didn't make someone else an offer, or you were looking for offers, but it's like someone kind of like stabs you a little bit, or you know, in the back in a way. It's not the Ten of Swords, but it may feel like someone took something from you. Could have to do with, like I said, money and stability. Current environment. Three of Swords, you feel like someone really broke your heart. Caused you a lot of sorrow with the Surya Swords. It's almost like almost the worst kind of pain. Three of Swords, why are you there for Virgo? What happened to Virgo? Something broke your heart or somebody's heart broke. You're feeling trapped over it, feeling like you can't get out of a certain situation with the Eight of Swords. But you can with the Eight of Swords. Even though you're feeling trapped, what's attached to this card is that you can get away from this trap entrapment. It's mostly mentally. Mm. Eight of Swords, Three of Swords. Why are you there as the current environment for Virgo? What's going on? Left you really off balance. Really left you off balance. That's the art card in reverse. Can I get another card for the Three of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the Art card? It's also known as Temperance in Reverse. Why are you there? 
you were wanting that happily ever after. You thought you were going to get it, but something upset that. Because this is the main energy that I, that I went for, and these are the why. Heartbroke, heartbreaking situation over and you're feeling trapped. Maybe you're trying to break free because you fell on balance and you want you're wanting your happily ever after and there's nothing wrong with that. It really isn't. Outside environment, what's coming towards you possibly? It's causing all this or what is coming towards you? Ace of Cups is more like a movement type energy coming towards you. As an outside environment, someone may be offering you the Ace of Cups. Passionate new beginning, emotional new beginning, a loving new beginning. Why are you there, Ace of Cups? Who's offering love? Maybe we'll get a person, huh? Someone's no longer being stagnant. They're no longer holding back. So they had the hangman in reverse before they were holding back. Someone was holding back before. Maybe they're afraid to approach you. Can I get another card? Could be the Queen of Wands. This could be a fire sign or someone taking on that energy. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They are coming towards you. Can I get more information with this Queen of Wands, the Hangman in reverse, and the Ace of Cups coming towards Virgo? They're feeling... They're coming out of, her, not hermit mode, but they're coming out of a stagnant situation where they were just hanging around. Like I said, it could be a fire type energy. They feel like it may be a failure if they do. Or maybe it was someone who had a failure in the past or someone contemplating how to overcome their own situation so they could possibly offer you something. So they're still thinking on it, and they want to make this offer. I don't see them straight 100% doing it yet because they're him hauling around. Even though the hangman is in reverse, they want to come out of just st stagnation, and they want to make you a passionate, loving offer. But they're still thinking on it. Think, what do they say now? That's what I'm feeling. The outcome. The Herophon in reverse. You may not be ready for any relationship. Still dealing with the heartbreak, probably. Herophon in reverse has to do with the status quo, contracts, marriages, stuff of that nature, stuff that's conformed in society and solid. But it's in reverse. You're probably thinking, and maybe that's why this person's not approaching you yet, because you're just not ready. Too, too much going on still with you. The Herm... The Hierophant in reverse. Why are you there for Virgo? What's going on? You're tired of all the, I don't know, people competition, arguments, strife. You had that. And plus you're still, you feel still trapped in the, in the situation in your own life, emotionally and physically. And you're still dealing with heartbreak. But I'm thinking someone is contemplating on approaching you. But in the end, you may they may decide you're not ready for a relationship or you may not um, be ready for one from this person. Like I said, they may be feeling that you're not ready for this relationship and they may be afraid to approach you in mid-November and on for at least a few weeks in November. Can I get another card for the Hierophant in reverse with the Five of Wands Strife? Because there was a broken contract or relationship. Another card, please. Yeah. I don't think you're ready for something just to jump into right away. I think you're going to take your time because it seemed like, like I said, there was heartbreak involved. Sorrow. Even though you are wanting happiness... Because you got that wish attached. It's like you're just putting people at arm's length. I still think you're hoping for somebody, even though just not right now. You're wanting something. 
You're just not going to settle. You're going to fight for what you want. Not, not necessarily in a battlement. You're just not going to settle anymore. And I think this person that's coming towards you may feel that and be afraid to offer you this. They want to. They really do. But you may turn it down for now. Just for now. Or they just may not approach you because you're going through a lot. But realize that there is somebody out there that does want to extend to you an offer. And it's up to you whether you accept something or not. But with the Four of Cups, or is that the Four? Yep, that's the Four of Cups right there. That's someone being offered something. But they may not take it. Or they may not think, I want this right now. But this... The, the, the main meaning with this is something being offered doesn't mean it's necessarily a negative offer. Or just You're just not feeling it. So it's up to you whether you open your heart and want to take this offer that someone is trying to do. You may not see it, but they're trying to do it. But at the same time, you're going through your own emotions and heartbreak. So remember, there is somebody out there. Like I said, it's up to you whether you take it or not, or whether you open your eyes or look around you and see who this person is. Could be, like I said, someone who has a lot of fire energy in them. Doesn't have to be a fire sign, like I said. They just have like this, you know, vivacious type energy about them. And they're usually fun to be around, so there's a hint. Okay, talk to you later. That is your reading. Bye.